So could hackers hack a mobile device and turn the battery into an explosive? That's been the question that a lot of people have been asking me. I'm sure you've all seen the news now about the Hezbollah pages slash walkie-talkie explosions. And because a lot of people are familiar with how lithium batteries can catch fire and in rare cases explode, people were wondering, well, could this be a cyber attack? Did someone hack those devices and cause the battery to explode? Now, I'm not an explosive expert, but I think what actually helps me in this video is my lack of expertise, specifically my lack of expertise in electric engineering because as a beginner electrical engineer I have a lot of experience with lithium battery fires because almost every circuit board I make catches fire so I have seen my fair share of lithium battery meltdowns and I can tell you for a fact that they don't do that which is why I'm gonna also answer a more interesting question which is could someone theoretically do that could someone hack into your device and cause the lithium battery to catch fire or explode but first let's talk about why this wasn't a lithium battery explosion. Now I could show you what one looks like on camera, except I live in a rented apartment and that could be perhaps the dumbest way to lose my security deposit. So we are just gonna skip on that one. Now kind of the first most important thing to understand is these devices actually didn't use lithium batteries. So they were using much older AAA alkali batteries which just don't catch fire at all. Um, but like skipping that, when a lithium battery does does like critically fail and go into a meltdown, a couple of different things can happen. It could simply just burn out, um, it could combust, and in very, very rare cases, it can explode. Now, the explosion is actually the rarest case because what happens is when the battery actually starts to go into what's called thermal runaway, which is when it's like releasing so much energy that it's just heating up, causing it to release more energy, and it'll eventually catch fire. Um, what's gonna happen is it's gonna generate a bunch of flammable gases that are probably going to be expelled from the battery and ignite. Now, in order to get an explosion, you need all of that energy to be released at once, which typically would only happen if the gases were somehow contained and compressed for long enough before they ignite. Now, even if that was the case, like even if these batteries had like some very strong casing where all this gas was able to build up and build up and build up and then it exploded, the explosions actually aren't that powerful. And that's actually true for most explosions. Like movies way oversell how explosive explosives actually are. Like you see grenades in movies like leveling buildings or like blowing out entire rooms. And in real life, the explosions are actually a lot smaller. Now, when it comes to lithium batteries, even in what we're gonna call the best case scenario here, because in this scenario, we're actually trying to cause an explosion. Even in the best case scenario, the explosion is not gonna be particularly powerful. I was actually able to find a video of of one of the old Samsung phones actually exploding. And the guy is holding it in his hand, looking straight at it, and none of his fingers are blown off. There's just a big puff of smoke, and that's it. That's pretty much the magnitude of a lithium battery explosion. And even if we're talking like laptop sized batteries, it's still not that much bigger. Now the kind of lithium battery that you could fit in a device that small would do absolutely nothing close to that scale. In fact, when I first saw the video of the pager exploding, I was immediately like, that is high explosives. Those devices were rigged with high explosives. And I actually posted about that, and then I think a couple of hours later, an article came out from some internal sources, and they said that, yeah, it was PETN, which is the main high explosive in Semtex. So these people were essentially walking around with IEDs in their pockets. One thing we have to remember is not all explosions are created equal. We've probably all seen those science experiments where the teacher fills a big balloon full of hydrogen and then ignites it, and you get a very big bang and a fireball, but it doesn't do any damage. It's not blowing the windows of the classroom out or blowing people's hands off. It's just a big bang. And lithium battery explosions are much closer to that than they are to any kind of high explosive. So I was pretty confident having seen even one of the videos that that was not a lithium battery explosion. But then that leads us to the more interesting question of, well, could you? Could you hack a device and cause the battery to catch fire or explode. Now here I actually have a lithium battery and as you can see there's a little circuit board on top. Now that's not something that I've added, that's actually something that's built into the battery. And what it is is a protector circuit. It protects too much current from going into the battery, coming out of the battery, or the battery reaching a temperature which is considered dangerous. 
So in order to hack a device and cause the battery to go into some kind of meltdown, you would be dealing with this circuit. It's a fail safe device, which means that if we were somehow able to send some kind of, I don't know, like electric pulse from the circuit board, into this protector chip and then just completely fry it, that wouldn't result in the battery still operating but now not being able to monitor voltage and temperature. It would just close the switch and the battery would become permanently disconnected. So in order to cause any kind of problems in the battery, we need to somehow find a way around this circuit. And it's not programmable and there's nothing behind it that we could infect with malware. So we're pretty limited there. Now, as we all know, there's a lot of really poorly designed circuits out there. So there is a chance that there is a battery with a circuit protector that just doesn't work right. Um, but we're talking like a very, very rare edge case, not just random everyday phones all going bang at once. And the other thing is when lithium batteries do fail, how they fail isn't something controllable. You couldn't just send some magic string of binary digits to the battery and it just goes boom. You would most likely be trying to short circuit it. Short circuiting causes the battery to heat up, which is what leads to thermal runaway and the eventual combustion or explosion. But once you've actually shorted out a battery, you don't really have any control over what happens next. It's kind of down to a bit of chemistry, a bit of physics and the randomness of the universe. It could just be that the battery gets super hot, one of the contacts melts off and then it just disconnects. It could also be that it starts a small fire or it gets so hot that the user just throws their device away. But the actual end case, which you would want in this case, would be the explosion, it is almost impossible to control because you need some way to contain all of the gases and pressurize them, which something like this flimsy little piece of aluminum isn't going to do. Typically when you actually see lithium batteries catch fire, it's actually not due to any hardware or software errors within the device. It's due to physical damage that happens within the battery, either by dropping it or piercing it. And because all of that is behind the protector circuit, it's not gonna stop it. Like the protector circuit can protect the circuit from the battery and the battery from the circuit, but it can't protect the battery from itself. You've probably seen these videos of people poking holes in them. And what's happening there is they're basically breaching the internal layer that separates the two different halves of the battery and causing a short circuit inside the battery. So it's one of those things where like, theoretically, could it be possible in some weird edge case? Yes. Would it be reliable? No. Uh, would a random everyday device be susceptible to this? Also no. This would be better off as a sci-fi plot device where we can say all of the physics check out, like this is literally possible, but the chance of it happening is basically zero. 